My name's Placid Jesus. Uh, I'm based in Los Angeles. Originally, I'm from London. I'm pretty new to street art. I've only been doing it for about eight or nine months. I got into it because uh, about 18 months ago, I did some photographic reproduction of Banks' works. I chose nearly 20 of them and I recreated his street art, the more iconic ones, using real people, getting as much detail down in the photographs as I can. I've been a photojournalist for nearly 20 years and if an editor doesn't like what you've done, it won't go anywhere in the newspaper or magazine. If they don't think your idea goes with the editorial angle or content of the publication, it won't go near. But then street art, you can put your opinion out there on the wall. Nobody's there editing it, nobody's there judging it, they're there seeing it and, and, and then you know, choosing their own judgment. And I'm kind of inspired when there's a, either a news story out there or there's perhaps a survey being done about something in culture and society. And I kind of really try and show that in, in art and bring it over, quite in a simplistic, bold, stencil piece. Firstly, work on your technical ability. There's no good at having the greatest idea in the world if you can't get it out there and you can't get it up. You, know, you may make the great stencil, choose a wall, and actually you find that the wall's too rough or it just won't take the medium that you're taking. So firstly, get your techniques now. And secondly, make sure you're saying something that is different and something that will touch a nerve with people. Um, that's the second thing. But don't, don't get too angry with what, what you say. If you put a piece up saying, fuck the government, you know, it'll get taken down pretty quickly. But if you'd say it in an educated, polite and civilised manager, maybe this government is doing something wrong in this area, tell us how to get some respect.